Hi, one kids. So the time has come for Joshua to lead God's people. And it was the time to enter the promised land. And you know, they'd been waiting such a long time, 40 years in fact. But it was also a little bit of a scary time because you see, they weren't gonna be entering land that was empty. There were already people there. But there were people that God didn't want to be there. So I can imagine that Joshua was thinking that there was gonna be a battle of some sort. But you know, God knew that they would be scared and he told them that they had no need to worry because he would be there for them and to be strong and courageous as they entered the promised land. So Joshua found two men to be spies to go into the land to check out the city of Jericho. Now when the spies arrived in Jericho, they went to the house of a woman named Rahab. Now Rahab was really kind to the two spies and she let them stay in her house for the night. But in the meantime, someone had spotted the spies and they went to tell the king of Jericho. The king of Jericho sent word to Rahab that she had to bring the spies to him. Oh no, poor Rahab, what a tricky situation. I wonder what happens next. I wonder what Rahab will do. Well, Rahab was a brave lady and she took them up to the top of her roof and she hid them under some leaves and things. And just at that moment, the king's messengers came knocking at the door. Rahab thought for a moment and then she said, ah, they were here, but they've just left. If you hurry, you will find them. And it made me wonder for a moment, why would Rahab choose to protect these men? You know, after all, she was a citizen of Jericho. But you see, I think she knew that God was right. And so she trusted God at this time and protected the men. What an amazing lady. So what happened to Rahab? Well, as Rahab had been really kind to the spies and helped them when they needed it, she asked them to help her protect her and her family. And of course the spies agreed. So what they told her to do was to tie a piece of scarlet cord to her window and stay inside during the battle. So this way, everyone would know that Rahab's house and everybody in it would have to be protected. And that's exactly what happened. God looked after Rahab because she trusted him.